All right, so in this particular uh, problem, we're asked to find uh, multiple things here. We need to find the specific heat capacity of a bomb calorimeter, given the fact that we're burning 0.1584 grams of benzoic acid, and that uh, for uh, the information given for benzoic acid is that uh, we release 26.42 kilojoules per grams um, of energy released when we do that. Now, the temperature change in the situation where we added the 0.1584 grams of benzoic acid was 2.54. So we're going to use that to go ahead and find the specific heat of the bomb calorimeter. And from there, they want us to answer a couple of questions about vanillin and, and what would be the uh, heat of combustion uh, involved when we uh, burn some vanillin in this particular bomb calorimeter. So I'm going to go ahead and start a new page here. And uh, we're trying to find out, you know, how much how much energy is released if we burn uh, the uh, let's see here 0.1584.1584 and that was 26.42 that's joules per gram so this will give us the overall heat emitted now, the overall heat emitted here is 4.18 kilojoules. Okay. And because this was done well, with the temperature change, uh, once this was carried out, uh, this particular mass of benzoic acid was burned in the, in the bomb calorimeter. The temperature change was 2.54 degrees. Okay, so C is basically Q over change in temperature. And when we divide this out, we get 1.65 kilojoules per degree Celsius. So now that we're going to add vanilla in here, And we're given a mass of 0 0.2130. That's grams of vanillin. And we need to figure out the energy, how much energy we're going to produce. So the temperature change was 3.25 degrees Celsius. So the heat released would be 1.65. times 3.54. Okay, so 1.65 kilojoules per degree Celsius and we're doing a temperature change of 3.54 degrees Celsius. So that's end up that's going to end up being 5.36 kilojoules when we multiply that out. Okay, now last but not least, we're doing this on a per gram basis, and then they want us to do um, on a per mole basis here. So we need to figure out how many grams per mole are in vanilla. And so they give us uh, they give us C8, H8, O3. So we'll, we'll use that here uh, shortly. But uh, why don't we go ahead and figure out in uh, joules, kilojoules per gram. So we have 5.36 kilojoules, and we actually put in 0.2130. Grams of that substance. So we're going to end up with 25.1. kilojoules per gram. And we can do a quick conversion for one gram. Well, C8H H803. So that's going to have a molar mass 
if we combine 12 carbon atoms, eight hydrogen atoms, and three oxygen atoms, that gives us a molar mass of 152 grams. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and delete that equal sign because we need to do multiplication. Okay, so I know one hundred fifty two grams are contained in one mole of that vanilla. So essentially, what we're doing is we're taking twenty five point one kilojoules times one hundred fifty two, and that'll give us on a per per mole basis. We'll go ahead and cancel out those. Those gram units. So we take 25.1 times 152, we get 3815.2, or we can just say 3000. kilojoules per one mole of that substance. And that would be your final answer, uh, or the third and final answer for uh, this particular problem.